Good morning, welcome to Akima 2022. We are here at uh, Toflon Boot, and uh, my name is uh, Stefano Arletti. I'm in charge for inspection systems and automatic inspection machines. And today we are here to introduce uh, the uh, new fully automatic inspection machine for pre-filled syringes. This machine is made mainly by three big sections. The first section is the denesting area where the nest bring the containers to inspect in. They are removed from the nest automatically by two robots. Then the syringes are fed to the visual inspection area here, the main carousel. Later I will show you more in detail what's happening here. After inspection, the syringes come here to the sorting area where they are uh, separated, the bad containers are separated from the good ones. Finally, we have the output area and the uh, re-nesting area where the syringes, good syringes, are put again in the nest for the next step of the manufacturing. This is the denesting area. I will show you more in detail. The full nest is coming in. Then the first robot put the nest in the denesting area. Then a second robot will pick up the syringes row by row and load in the infeed area of the inspection machine. We are using two robots to provide a very gentle and smooth movement as well as a high production speed. You can see the products are not shaken to avoid air bubble generation nor uh, damaged in any way. This is very important to combine high production rate uh, with uh, uh, good inspection quality. So now I will show you the inspection area, the most important part of the machine. Uh, after infeed, the syringes are checked for the uh, flange to reject the broken syringes. Then they are turned upside down and then they enter the inspection machine. In the inspection machine, in this case, we have four stations. We have the first station for cosmetic. The second station is the first particle inspection. Then we have a needle shield inspection. And then we have the second particle inspection. Then the syringes are coming out. They are checked once more for the bottom here. And then they are turned again with the needle up. This is the sorting area where the rejects are removed from the stream and then the good syringes can move on to the next step. This is the inspection area. In this area first we have the control, the inspection of the flange of the syringe. We will remove all broken flanges from here so that uh, the next uh, container can enter safely the star wheel for inspection. We have the cosmetic area first, uh, the first particle inspection. We have the needle shield inspection area and the second particle inspection. Then the container undergoes an inspection of the bottom here and they are turned again with the needle down. Finally, we have the sorting area. The bad containers are removed from the, the stream and the good containers can move on to the next step. This is the last part of the machine. After inspection, after removing the bad containers, the good containers, the good syringes, come out in the output area. They are picked up by a first robot, put in the nest, again in a very gentle way. And then the fully loaded nest is put in the tray where it can proceed to the next manufacturing step. Okay, now I'm going to explain you more in detail what kind of inspection this machine can perform on pre-filled syringes. So the first item to inspect is the flange and the presence of the stopper. Okay, we don't want a broken flange or missing stopper to enter the carousel. When this is okay, we turn upside down, the syringe enter the machine and we have the first inspection of the sidewall. Okay, the glass for defects on the glass like cracks or dirt or non-moving particles. This is made in front of camera, the container is slowly rotated. Then we have the first particle inspection. We have a quick spinning to move the particle. 
then the container is stopped and the moving particle can be detected by the particle inspection. Then we have the needle shield inspection. So this part, we check the needle shield, need to be present, not bent, not broken, not too high or too low. And of course, we don't want to have the needle sticking out. This can also be dangerous for the final recipient. Then we have the last uh, second particle inspection in the carousel. So we have another high spin spinning. We have the second particle inspection for moving particle. Uh, in this case, we can use a different light and different set of parameters to maximize the detection of different kind of particles. And the last inspection after uh, exiting the carousel is on the bottom, on this part of the syringe, because this part can be uh, hidden in the carousel because of the gripper. So in this area, it is completely free and we can inspect uh, this part for uh, no moving particles or defects uh, or again the stopper in case the stopper is too low. Then the inspection process is finished and the container move out uh, 